into this. All right, here we go. So your fight is fast approaching. So first of all, uh, talk with us. How are you feeling about the fight? I'm feeling good, man. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me, man. I appreciate that. You know, finally good being really great to have you on. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. But yeah, man, I feel good about uh, I feel good about this fight coming up here in about uh, three three and a half weeks with uh, Gabriel Benavides. Uh, I feel like it's a good matchup for me, man. Uh, I've been prepared for this fight. You know what I mean? I, you know what I mean? Ever, ever since that Mason Jones fight, I always been back in the gym. You know. Uh, back in shape you know it's not like i left you know training so you know i'm ready for it uh been in fight camp you know i'm all prepared for it so it's a good matchup for me i love it you're at a, a new weight class and i know folks were talking about you at 145 pounds when you made your debut against mason jones about how there is serious potential at that weight this is your first time in the ufc at 145 pounds how are you feeling on that front I mean, I feel good. It's what I've been waiting for, man. I feel like I'm, I'm a problem at my, you know, uh, at my or, or what's the original weight. Uh, you know, I'm very fast. Uh, you know, it's my weight class. You know, that's 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 where that's, that's where I do best. You know, I feel like a lot of guys can compete with me on that on that weight. You know, so you know, you know, that's, <laughs> I'm just ready, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to compete at you know back at uh, 145. So. Let's go. This fight just got announced a couple of days ago. Uh, for those of us like myself on social media are just seeing the news. How long has this been in the works? Oh, uh, I got the call about maybe I, I think it's like Tuesday. When my my coach James Crowds called me. He was like, "Hey, man, I think we got a fight for you. You know, uh, look, uh, you know, watch this fight. Let me know what you think." And uh, I looked him up. You know. You know, I like I said, I like the matchup. You know, the guy, the guy's pretty good. Gabriel's really good. Uh, I think he has like 22, 22 fights, and nine, nine losses. You know, it's a tough fight, but still a good matchup for me. You know, I feel like we're both, you know, gonna come out and uh, you know show the world what we can do. You know, so it's a good matchup for me. I'm excited for it. What are you preparing for to see out of him? We've obviously got a potential fight of the night here, so. You know, coming out hot, just like the Mason Jones fight, it's just going to be a brawl. Is that is that what you're expecting out of him this time around? Uh, the guy's clean. The guy, you know, Gabriel is he's very clean. Uh, first round is going to come out and you know, and just you know, kind of just do what he do. You know, start off with good uh, what's called low kicks. Uh, you know, he's a good uh, has a really good uh, body kick, uh, good jabs, very fast too. Uh, you know, South Paul, so he has a very good uh, very good too. Uh, you know, I'm I'm ready for everything he brings. You know, so I know his game plan. I've been watching him, you know, for a very long time now. So, you know, really nothing new to me. I've been watching the guy for a long time, and you know, I'm prepared for this fight. So, you know, from from a standpoint of of your skills, as we move closer to the fight, what can we expect to see? Not only you preparing for, but also what you're bringing into the octagon. Oh man, I'm just gonna come out, man, and you know. Do me, you know, you know, just come out and have fun, man. You know, give you know, give the people what they want to see, and you know, Devin I was gonna come out and you know, do what he do best. You know, I'm here to fight, man. So, you know, I'm all ready for it. You know. So you're in, you're in the UFC now. You're at this, at the pinnacle of mixed martial arts in the premier organization. Are you gonna do anything differently? as far as preparing for a fight and what you do in the lead up to a fight now that you're here? Uh, you know, not that I'm, I'm in the, I'm in the, I, I'm in the UFC, uh, you know, I know I belong here. Uh, I can compete with these guys. I know there's some guys I can beat up. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing me, man. You know, just, just, you know, just fight, uh, you know, just do what I love, man. Just, you know, you know, fight. Uh, yeah, man, just, you know, do what I love, man. Fight, find the UFC, you know, finally here. You know, I just time to have fun, you know. So I'm just going to do what I do best. You, know? so. you mentioned you've been in the gym since the Jones fight. What's been going well for you? Uh, I've been working really a lot on my on my grappling. Uh, been working a lot on my grappling lately. Uh, so that's the my biggest, um, you know, my biggest uh, game plan I need to focus on right now is wrestling. As you can see, that fight didn't really go well because I didn't have enough uh, I was not wrestling in my background. So 
And so that Mrs. Jones fight, I really been, you know, been just, you know, grappling a lot, you know, you know. So if anything, just grappling, been grappling a lot, trying to work on my wrestling. From a weight standpoint, just to bring it back to that, are you open to maybe in the future going back to 155 if the fight if a fight there were to interest you? Oh, for sure. Yeah, most definitely. For me and my coaches and my managers feel like it's uh 155 is a you know a good weight cut for me again and uh right opponent, then yeah, well, we're gonna take it, you know. But as far as now, I'm just gonna stick back to uh 145 and you know start, you know, start winning again. So but yeah, for sure in the future, if you know, if it's, if it's a good fight, you know. We we'll take it, so it's not a problem for me at all. What sort of fight are you looking for in general now that you're at 145? There, the 145 division is full of killers, so yeah. that's got to that's got to make you excited. Are there any names that come to mind? Any specific fights that you may want at some point in the future? Uh, nah, man. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take the fights they give me for now. You know. I'm, Whoever they give me, I'm gonna take it for now. But as, as as far as I know, I'm really don't have a, you know, anybody to call out right now. Uh, really not my game, man. I'm not, you know, a call out person. You know, whoever they give me is, you know, who I'm fighting. So we'll see. You never know. You know, whatever the future brings, you know, we're gonna see. So, you know, we'll just we'll just see from from here on. Are you happy with the timetable that you're at now? You fought in October. It was short notice. You're fighting here in February. It's short notice. That's not a bad turnaround at all, but are you are you happy with where that's ended up? Oh yeah, I'm way happy, man. It's it's better, man. It's three uh three weeks, three uh three weeks and a half. Uh better than four days notice. You know, I'm like I said, I've been in the gym, been in the fight camp, I'm prepared for this fight. You know, three weeks is enough for me, you know, that's really all I need, you know. So I feel like it's a good it's a good time phase for me. So you know. if you have this next fight and everything goes according to what you have planned. When do you think we'll be able to see you back again? Uh, I'm trying to get back in either uh, April, April, probably, April or May. So I'm going to talk to my managers and uh, let them know I want to get back in there as soon as possible. I'm going to be right back in the gym after this fight. Uh, so if anything, probably March, um, what's it called? Uh, April or March. I mean, April or May. So I know we touched on the 55 earlier, but if, you were to have a two maybe just under three month short turnaround maybe that would be at 155 pounds is that yeah. something that or you're not reserved about taking a fight at that time at that weight are you oh no nah, man if they give me three months ahead of time at 155 i'm definitely taking it you know i just need you know three weeks three weeks if you give me three weeks or a month ahead I'm good with it. You know what I mean? It don't even matter if it's four or four days, honestly. You know, I'm in the gym, so you know, I'm always training. And nothing really changed for me, so, you know, I'm, I'll be prepared for it. So what, what was going on with you when you got the fight with Mason Jones four days out? What were you doing when they called you? Yeah, so uh, on that fight, with, uh, I, was in, uh, I was actually on vacation in, uh, in Alabama when they called me. Oh, uh, I'm from Alabama. Say again, I'm sorry. I'm from Alabama. Are you? Yeah. Which part? Oh, <clears throat> roll tide. Hey, that's where I was. <laughs> yeah, man, I was out there in Alabama at uh, in a tell what's called Tuscaloosa. I was out mm -hmm. there with my friends uh, when I got the news. Uh, it was around like four o'clock in the morning. My, you know, my coach James Crow was like, uh, "Hey, man, we might have a fight for you, man." Uh, you know what I mean? Look him up, you know, look him up. Let me know what you think. Uh, I looked him up, watch this fight, you know, and I agreed, you know. From there, we took the fight, man, flew straight to Vegas and, you know what I mean, started doing medicals and, and all that other good stuff, and, you know. I'm doing yeah. this from Tuscaloosa right now. That's where I am. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome, man. That's crazy. Small world. Small world. Small hey, world. last world thing for you. Yeah. Say again? I'm sorry, cut you off. Roll Todd. Roll Todd. Roll Tide. Last thing I got for you. It's been 2022. You got a great fight to start it off. What are your goals for the rest of the year? Man, my goals for the rest of the year, man, is get as much fights as I can. You know what I mean? Uh, get back to winning. You know, that's you know that's what I do. So this year, man, just get back to winning. Uh, you know, do what I love, and man, just keep, you know, continue being great, you know? 
So absolutely. You know, yes, sir. That's that's what I want to do this year, man. Is that wraps it up for this time around. That's what I had for you, man. I truly appreciate you being on. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you so much. And Thank best you. of luck with your fight. Thanks, bud. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Roll tide. Roll tide. Thank you. <laughs>